Hello, and welcome to the newly released Chinese horror game Paper Dolls 2, a direct continuation of a game I played on the channel about a year ago called Paper Dolls Original, which I really quite enjoyed despite its many issues. If you want to find out where you can get this for yourselves, look down below in the description, the links and the details are going to be down there. So, if you remember, in the first game we were playing as a father searching for his daughter, who was lost in a mansion filled with ghosts. And we spent the majority of the first game trying to find my daughter, catching up to her, battling through the ghosts, only for the game to very abruptly end as we approach the upstairs area. Well, that's where Paper Dolls 2 comes in, because in Paper Dolls 2 we're going to be exploring the upstairs area, and hopefully battling a few more ghosts and finding my daughter at the end of it. Hope you enjoy it, leave your thoughts down below in the comments at the end, and if you do enjoy this, leave this video a like. Here we go, let's start a new game of Paper Dolls 2. Ah, but on what difficulty? We got simple, normal, and hard. And I think there is going to be another one if you complete the game and you want to try it again. There's like an extra hard mode, essentially. Um, I don't really care about high scores, so I'm going to go with normal. There you go. Oh right, it really is a direct continuation of the first game, because if you remember in the post credit scene in the first game, there was a ghost at the top of those stairs that kicked us on our ass. And now we're getting back up. We've got the dagger. We're going to bring the fight to them. Let's go get our daughter back. Here we go. Alright, so yeah. Don't want to go down there. Down there is Paper Dolls Original. And I'm done with that. So here we are. Right, yeah. Quick turn? Oh, that's nice. Was that a thing in the first game? Hmm, if it was, I didn't utilize it. But yeah, here we are. This is how we ended the first game in this room. And I think the ghost went through this door. And unfortunately, we cannot do the same. Or maybe unfortunately, actually. Right, so. These look like coffins to me. Let's... oh. What are we doing here? Oh, peering inside. Of course we are. Oh, hang on. Ah, there's something inside. Uh, so that is... Paper Scraps 5. Alright. Let's see if I can find the other four. No more in here? I don't think so. Mm, broken lantern, nothing on the bench. What about this one? This open one? No? Oh, some clothing. But that's about it. Okay. Alright. Looks like we got another one on this side. Oh, is that... Oh, yeah. Hey. Did you eat a piece of paper or are you resting on it? <laughs> Either way, that is Paper Scraps 2. Okay. Three more to find then. Uh, I'll leave you to rest in peace. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. We've got the inventory over here, so we're collecting the scraps, the fur, but that's, that's the dagger, that's right. Um, I, I think I would need... I think it's matchsticks that you need to light candles in these games, right? And I don't obviously have a matchstick. Never mind. No. Oh, well, there it is. There you go. A matchstick. And it's tab to open the bag, that's right. I could use the matchstick right now, but maybe I'll keep hold of it for uh, later on. Yeah. What's this? Okay. Can I read this? Yes, I can. Fragmented writing paper. The madam is in danger. Only you can help her right now. This red stain must be sent to the embroidery room. It is very important. Do not make any mistakes and leak to the others. I knew the trap master had set. Do remember that you can pass through the first door on the second floor corridor only when the bell rings at 2am. Afterwards, pass through the doors one by one with the instructions in the mail. You'll be safe then. Only when the bell rings at 2am. And then afterwards... One by one with the instructions. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, alright. We can't open the other drawers? No. What about the other coffins? Still looking for more scraps of paper, of course. And there's one. Okay. That is seven! Seven, alright. That's it. So, yeah, we're looking for a, a few more. Doesn't look like there's any in this one, but let's still 
check it thoroughly. Only to discover that, yeah, I was right. There's nothing here. What about this one? Looks like there's two more to go. Okay. That's number three. Cool. And, ah! There's two more in here. This is six. And we've got four as well. It, was that all of them? Maybe there's like one missing. And maybe that one's going to be in here. I'm hoping so. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. You're resting your head on it. Sorry. Yeah, that's paper scrap one. Oh, I see. That was the left side of that piece of paper. Yeah, okay. So they were all just coloured circles. Hmm. Were they the instructions? Like, is this the mail that you were talking about? Maybe it is. Nothing on the back. Huh, okay. Well, let's just... Let's, let's back out of this. Let's read this. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, I can pass through the first door on the second floor corridor only when the bell rings at 2am. Afterwards, pass through the doors one by one with the instructions in the mail. If these are the instructions, then I still need to get through this first door. So... Uh, what's the time? <laughs> Is it about 2am? I hope so. Hopefully it's 1.59. Also, where's the bell? I haven't seen the bell. Maybe there's something downstairs? Let's go downstairs just briefly. Alright. I don't really want to linger down here because, you know, I completed Paper Dolls original. <laughs> okay, well. This way. Oh, I, I can see it bolted on the other side. I'm quite glad about that, because if it wasn't, and I opened it, I'd probably just have to reinstall the first game. Ah. What is the time? Uh, okay, I've got a, I've got a hand here. The second hand pointer, okay. Oh. What? Now I don't know what the fucking time is! Right. Uh, can't do anything with this. Oh, it's okay. There's another one on this side. Maybe this one... Ah. Oh, okay. So, let's put the second hand on this. Yes. Oh, brilliant. It's... Well, it's it's about four seconds before 2am, hopefully. Here we are, then. Ah. Okay, so, yeah, we, we can run in this. I didn't give myself enough time. I don't think that was because of my pitiful stamina, which I assume I've still got in this game. Can I try this again? Give myself a little bit more time? Yeah, okay, so let's give myself like, yeah, 15 seconds so my fat ass can get up there. There we go. Yeah, I've still got pitiful stamina. Holy shit. Right, so, it opens automatically? It does! And we're in. Hey. That was kind of jarring, that transition. That changed colour, right? Huh. Okay. Through here, one by one, right? Right, well... Let's just do what the instructions said, right? Are we just going through the same hallway again and again? This feels like a loop to me. I think it might be. This is the same room, right? Is there a body in this coffin? There should be. Yeah. Okay, can I go back through? Oh good, I don't need to mess around with the clock again. Uh, the transition again, yeah, I, I saw it change colour again. So... It's the colours of the circles, isn't it? So let's just take a look at that. So it goes from like a grey to a red to a blue to a blue to a blue to a blue to a red. I see. Okay. Well, let me just actually... Yeah. I'm just going to note these down, right? So yeah, grey, red, blue, blue... Two more blues and a red. 
Okay. So let's just back out of there. So there's a red ahead of me. We just came through the tattered grey. So we, we've just done the first step, I assume. So, yeah. This seemed to work out before going through this door, right? So, yeah. Through the red. And now we need to go through blue. Is that blue? Well, that's red. I mean, it, it's, it's a little bit different than the other grey. It's not quite as blue as I thought, but... Yeah, that works. But now we're back to this tattered grey. And that's the door I went through, and that's why it reset. So I think I actually want to go this way again. So this is the second blue. And then I need to go back through again. That's the third blue. And then one more time. And then I think finally, to finish the sequence off, we need to go through red. And then, well, hopefully something happens. And something happens! We made it! All right. Hey, I'm actually quite proud of myself for making my way through that puzzle. Some of the puzzles in the first game were borderline impenetrable. So, yeah, we're probably going to get quite a challenge in this one. And look at this. Right. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Anything over here? I do want to check out all the little details, like matchsticks, for instance. There you go. Picked up another one of those. Oh, wow. Look at this. A feast fit for a king or a queen. Well, both of them, maybe. What have we got? Hmm. Something over here. This plate. Oh, uh, would you like a ferber? Would you like a dagger? Can't use it. No? Um, can I serve you some matchsticks? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so you want something on that plate. Something that you don't already have. Something over here? No? Doesn't look like it. Oh boy. No flashlight issues, please. What's this? What is that? Oh, it's a three gram weight. Okay. That screams puzzle to me. We'll, uh, we'll see if I'm correct. Fairly soon, I imagine. Wow. Okay, this is a big, big area. Oh, look at that. Hmm. I don't remember that room from the first game, so maybe it's a slightly different area of the mansion now. Yeah. Maybe we can go down there. I'm sure. Right, okay. Because this place does actually look quite complex, and, uh, you know, we don't have a map, right? Did we get a map in the first game? What was it? Fucking, uh... Okay, I just pressed M. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a few things that we need to keep track of. That's right. So, in this game, there's going to be a second floor and a third floor map. But unfortunately, at the moment, we have neither. And then there's stats as well, which is great. You can see it going up. That's cool. Um, so that's the info. Person? Right. So we're going to need to find out quite a lot about, presumably, the ghosts in this game before we can actually destroy them in some way and how we free the spirits, that's it. Diary? One of 55, holy shit. I think... This is looking very familiar. I think I actually read through this in the first game. Yeah, that's right. This is me talking about my daughter. So there you go. I'll allow you to sort of skim through it at your leisure to get caught up. Hmm. And then puzzle? Okay, so all the documents that we find related to puzzles, and it looks like there's going to be 20 more puzzles. All right, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Hmm, all right, we need to find something that goes there. All right, so... Yeah, let's, let's stick to a system. Left or right? Let's go right. Okay, got a big old mirror here. A vase. Can I interact with it? No. This one broke, unfortunately. <laughs> Never mind. Got a door through there, a door to the left. Okay, a couple of doors. Let's try this one. Hmm, that is locked up. Oh, actually, yeah, I can see the bolt on the other side, so I'll need to go on the other side of that and 
basically create a shortcut, probably. This one? Also locked. I can't really tell why, because of the E prompt, but, uh... Well, either way, we can't get through. So, forget what I was saying. Right is not right. Left is right. Let's go left. <laughs> Let's go this way. I do really like the look of this game. I don't like the look of that flashlight battery, though. Oh, boy. I really do want to check the details in this game, because I, I don't think this game is above stuffing an important item in, like, a vase or a pot or something like that, you know? Mirror's broken this side. But at least the door's open. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to stick with my rule. I'm just going to keep on sort of hugging the left wall. And we're going this way. I really want to find somewhere to hide as well, because who knows when the first ghost is going to strike. Right. What's in the chest? Nice. Okay, yeah, so use that to pry that open. Oh, hey. Oh, that looks like part of a map. It is. The ladies' quarters map. I see. Oh. Oh, it's it's up on the on the arrow keys apparently. Oh, the other one's like yeah. Yeah, the arrow keys send you to the different tabs. Fair enough. Weird controls, but yeah, neat. That's it. Nothing there? No? Okay. Let's move on then. Yeah, we need to find the other half, or maybe the other two-thirds to that map. And now we're in a different corridor. Uh, still, how can the left wall? Ooh. Possible hiding places. I'll keep those in mind. Okay, alright. What have we got here? Oh, we're gonna finish off the game? We're gonna steal a matchstick and we're gonna read this. Uh, okay, Pillars of Destiny, Jinzan. 5 to 7 p.m., 25th of February, 1880, GU, Dinghai, Jimao, Ding Shen. Hmm. So yeah, character relationships. Some of that was recorded. Yes, that's right. So we've got a name, we've got a a vague birthday. We'll need to find out about the elements and how to free the spirits as well. Huh. Yeah, cool. Alright, well, that's a start. Mm-hmm. Okay. It closes by itself. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> we open any of the drawers? No. Nothing in the drawer. Okay. Moving on. And sticking to the left. So, what's up with this? Oh, it's bolted. Okay, fair enough. This one... Doesn't look bolted, but there is something... Oh. It's blocked up. There could be like a wardrobe or something in front of it. So it's a bit of a dead end. What about this one? Right. Ah. Oh, is that another weight? I think it is. This one's four grams. Okay, all right, so we've got a three gram, a four gram. I guess I need to find a one and a two. Okay. I saw black shapes flickering behind Jinzan as he was fixing a rope to the skylight above the stage. Seeing them sent chills down my spine. Okay, so there's a stage. And maybe more importantly, there's a skylight above the stage. Maybe I'll need to fix the rope as well. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, so that's the diary aspect. I suppose I could... I could light this, right, if I can reach? Yes, I can. Yeah, I got three matchsticks. So... Because I got a flashlight, that doesn't really help too much, but... Does that keep away the ghosts, or something like that? Maybe it's just aesthetic, I'm not really sure. What's going on here? What is that? Oh boy, okay, so that's a seal on the door. That probably means we're going to have to defeat one of the ghosts to get through. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll come back later. So, what do we got here? Can I climb the ladder? Nope, still haven't figured out how to do that. 
anything down there. Mm, nothing on the shelf, nothing hidden. No, okay. Right, yeah. Well, I will come back later. Oh, hang on, hang on. I don't suppose there's any pockets I can search through. No? No? Okay, <laughs> no. I don't think there's any pockets in that. Okay, so... Here we are. My, oh my, oh my. Right, let's get this open. Can I hide here? No, I don't think so, but I can read here. I can read about Mr. Lou's prescription. A mind concoction. The lady should drink a concoction for her nerves before each meal, as this will stop her hallucinations for a few hours. There's a medicine pot and small stove by the medicine box. Boil the medicine immediately after mixing it. Take note, you must make sure she takes her medicine before the birthday party. So we got some ingredients and some weights. So, 18 grams of gold thread, 17 grams of licorice root, 4.5 grams of raw romania, 7.5 grams of dong chui, I guess, and 45 grams of of cinnabar. 45 grams, that seems excessive, but okay. Puzzle, yeah, so that's going to be the second document in the puzzle section. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, that's why I found those weights. So, in here? Oh, ah, here we go. This is where I can hide. So, if there are any spooks, if there's a ghost coming after me, this is the first place I'll go. Also, as I recall, the save rooms in the first game were also safe rooms. But I haven't found any of those yet, so yeah. <laughs> this is my lifeline right here. Shall I light that? Or shall I save the matchsticks? Let's save the matchsticks. Okay. Nothing inside? No. Hmm. Going out here to the balcony. I think that's where all the food was. Yeah, that's right. Maybe that's the stage down there? Or somewhere around here. So, really, I need to look for all those ingredients and then weigh them up, don't I? I haven't found any of those yet. Man, oh man, oh man. So, hang on. That's back to this corridor. I see, I see. Yeah, I am beginning to make a mental map of the place. Okay. Ah, oh, there's something here. What's this? It is... I think the exact amount of Dong Shui that we actually need. 7.5 grams. Huh, okay. Well, I found one of the ingredients. It's just like, what, four more to go? Oh, they look like a set of scales to me. Oh, I think, I think I just added the weights down as well. Yes, okay, so... Uh, well, I don't think this needs weighing, does it? I know exactly how much it weighs. 17.5 grams, and it's kind of toppling over, but there you go. Uh, let's reset. How do I choose which side I put the weights? Or maybe, maybe I don't. Yeah, maybe I actually don't. Um... Let's not mess around with this until we find the rest of the ingredients. Alright, so let's back out of that. Let's see what else we find. Okay. Nothing else down here in this room. I really do like the way this game looks. Okay. Oh, hang on, there's something here. Oh, okay. It's another little pouch. This, okay, this is the raw Romania, so that's 4.5 grams. Okay. Can't open that. No. Can't open these. No. We've got a door. Oh, we've got the pin through it. We've got the bolt through it. So let's take that out. There we go. That should be a... Is that a shortcut or what? If I go back here, is that the broken mirror? Yes. So that's where I went through. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is making sense. Who needs to find the rest of the map? Honestly. What's this? Hmm, what is this? Pick up? Pick up what? Oh, oh, licorice root! Hey, okay, so there's some... Yeah, exactly, some licorice root. This one, I don't know the quantity of, so I'll have to weigh that up. Alright. Um, seems like I can't select any of the other drawers. 
<laughs> this seems like a puzzle in and of itself. Yeah, it auto-selects the drawers that I need, it seems. Okay, so gold thread. Is it, again, some some gold thread? I'll need to weigh that up as well. I think that was, what, like 17 or 18 grams, something like that? Licorice root again. I've already taken some. Hopefully enough. Okay. Anything? Oh, something down here? Hey, yeah, okay. So, uh, I think we need 45 grams of that. So, hopefully that's enough. But, I don't know, maybe I can find some more elsewhere. Sweet, okay. This one? Can't open that. Oh, that's what I can hear. I thought there was a fire going. This, yeah, okay. Uh, I suppose when we got the ingredients in the right amounts, this is probably where we bring them, right? Cool. Cool. Oh, again, let's unpin this. Where does this go? I still find it kind of weird that we have to face plant the doors to get through them. Ooh. Unfortunately, I can't go down that way. But here we are. Okay. Nice. So, well, let's see. On the right side. Yeah, what about what about this door here? I... Hmm. Well, it wasn't working from the other side, was it? No, okay. Another staircase that's broken, so we can't go down that way. Right, yeah. Let's let's create this thing. Let's create the mine concoction, the, the medicine for you. So... Yeah. Back here? Oh, look at that. There's so much more to play with now. So... Well, I suppose what I want to do is I want to back out of this, and I want to just check the... What was it? Okay, left for puzzle, that's right. Let's just check the amounts. I'm just going to note these down so I don't have to reference them, just like I did with the other puzzle. So it's 18 grams of gold thread, 17 grams of licorice root, uh, the raw romania, the dontrite, I, I, the, uh, the 0.5s, they've been taken care of. Yeah, it's 45 grams of cinnabar there. All right. Ha, hmm. Okay, well, let's see. So... I... Unless... No, I, I see. We actually used the known quantities as weights themselves. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, assuming that the, the paper, the pouch, doesn't weigh anymore, I suppose. Uh, so let's see. 18 grams. That'll be the gold thread. There you go. Okay. Cool. And that becomes a weight itself. I like it. So using that, I, I suppose we'll have to use all of them to, to get to 45 grams for the Cinnabar. Um, Alright, so the licorice root, that's going to be... Let's just put these two on. That's going to be 17 grams. So there it is. So that's exactly 17 grams of licorice root. Okay. And now it's the Cinnabar. So we want a lot. We're going to want the 18 grams. We're going to want the 17. We can't use both of those. We can't use one of them because it's 0.5. All of these, would that work? Oh, that two and one. Yes, exactly 45 grams. Perfect. Ideal. So, that's it. And that is the mine concoction bag. So now let's take that over and, uh, and, and you know, mix it all up and, and cook it. Boil it. Alright. And this is what I need to serve. This is what I need to put on the plate. That's the mine concoction. Very nice. I'm liking this so far. Yeah. Oh. I seem to have interrupted their discussion. Oh, sh uh, mm, maybe I was overzealous. Shit. Uh, it sounds like they were talking in here. Well, I, I tell you what. 
what about if I just go back here and I run around for a bit, tra la 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 la, maybe they'll start chatting away again? Or maybe not. Oh god, I'm sorry guys. I didn't really mean to do that. I just rushed through. I thought I was going to see something. I think when they said next time, probably meant the next time you play the game. Okay, I think it just saved. Right, so, here we go. Mine concoction. There you are. I hope it's to your liking. It was, it was too much to about, wasn't it? <laughs> oh. oh, you're new. Oh, shit. Okay, so there's quick time events again. Oh, no. Okay. I am a running. I am a dodging. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay. Were you just shot at? Whoa. Oh, that that was the door that I think was blocked for some reason. I guess it's unblocked now. Did someone shoot at him? Really sounded like that. Am I... I'm, I'm without the knife, I'm without the dagger, the, the fervor. That one... Hmm. Uh, so, I was attacked... Here? Yeah. Oh, I, I can do something? Maybe I can clean up the blood or I can collect some of it? If that is blood. I, it got whacked away. God damn, look at those stains. I don't know which way it went. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was hoping to find it in this room. Maybe it got knocked down there. God. I'm running. I am a running. I don't know where I'm running though. I This way. Go this way. Go this way. Come on. Okay. Right, this should be open. I probably should run the other way, right? Ah shit. It is open and it okay, it leads downstairs. Great. Or is that a bad thing? I don't know. Okay, let's just keep on going down. It looks like a Oh god. I can't get through this because there's a seal. Oh shit, okay, something something was at the top of the stairs. And that just opened by itself. Oh, right, so there are save rooms. And hopefully, safe rooms as well. Light the incense to save. There you go. Right. Oh, another matchstick as well. Light the candle first, yes. And then, light the incense. Yeah. This is a very calming procedure. It's a very calming room. It's a very safe room, I hope. Okay, uh, yeah, let's save that in slot two, because why the fuck not? And that's it? That's it. Okay. Right. Well, this seems like the perfect opportunity for me to say thank you very much for watching the first part of Paper Dolls 2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a like. And I hope to see you back in part two as we go out, we deal with the ghosts, we see if we can find the dagger, and a bunch more puzzles to complete. See you then. Hey. Did you eat a piece of paper, or are you resting on it? Uh, what's the time? <laughs> Is it about 2am? I hope so. Hopefully it's 1.59. And we're in. Hey. This feels like a loop to me. I think it might be. Well, hopefully something happens. And something happens! We made it! The save rooms in the first game were also safe rooms. But I haven't found any of those yet, so yeah. <laughs> this is my lifeline right here. If I go back here, is that the broken mirror? Yes, so that's where I went through. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is making sense. Who needs to find the rest of the map, honestly? Oh. I seem to have interrupted their discussion. Oh, sh uh, mm, maybe I was overzealous. It was, it was too much to about, wasn't it? 